So I cannot emphasize this enough that you getting stronger is something that cannot be replaced. It's like going to boot camp and building up new muscles. Once you go back home, you know, people can't just tear your muscles off. Like you worked for this. What you learn during your trials and tribulations is something that no one can take away. This is an older gentleman we see still being the one in the student's position. He's now learning from a child. This child is an angel. He's learning how to let go of his issues, how to focus on the truth. We have work, angels, spoken word, darker tones, gaze, blank pages. I may be talking to someone who's a writer or who is planning on writing a book or you're in a situation that's kind of making you feel like a character in a novel. Something's something dangerous is happening. I see I'm seeing um slacks, T I something about your gaze, something about studying. I may be talking to a student because they had not ex because they had not executed my judgment, but had despised my statutes and had polluted my Sabbaths, and their eyes were after their father's idols. Okay, we keep getting this mention of eyes, eyes, eyes. Like, what are you looking at? What are you focused on? Um, maybe covetousness, wanting what someone else has. And the uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. Um, this may have something to do with you looking outside your natural upbringing, the way you were taught as a child to think and behave. Um, it's come to do what it actually takes to be part of this community. Um like I'm hearing like pay up. We have eight of swords and eight of wands. You know, 88 is representative of wealth. So whatever is being asked of you, you're going to be able to pay. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. We have 335. Let's see what this says. 335. Okay, we're almost there. It says, with songs, wait, this is 35. With songs and honors, okay. 335. Let's see. Let's see, 333. Remember, 88 eight is wealth. So what a wonderful savior. Christ has for moment made. What a wonderful savior. We are redeemed. The price is paid. What a wonderful savior. What a wonderful savior. Savior is Jesus. My Jesus. We just talked about your price being paid. This is 88. Christ paying. I praise him for the cleansing blood. What a wonderful savior. The reconciled, that reconciled my soul to God. What a wonderful savior. He walks beside all the way. What a wonderful savior. And triumph. And keeps my faith full day by day. And keeps me faithful day by day. Okay, what a wonderful savior. So I feel like it's very important that we focus on the fact that he paid the price and that he's a savior. He's saving you from a situation. So, so you desperately need his help right now. And just like, you know, when he when he crouched over and took a uh, and found a, a gold coin in a fish fish's mouth and he said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. I feel like you're in a situation like that where Christ is coming in to save you from whatever's going on. And he's telling you that what you have, what you need is already in you because you accept to him. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. 
Eight of Wands. This is the money that's coming towards you. This is the this is the gold coin. All right, so let's clarify this. I mean, I feel like if I had this eighty-eight right here. Yeah, but I feel like it's just I feel like you're really in a turning point right now where you see that you have everything you need. So you stop looking outward, stop looking outwardly. We have ten of wands to clarify this eight of wands. So where are you looking? Because we got we did get your eyes being focused on one thing. And then Ten of Pentacles. Let's pull another one. Four of Hearts. It seems like this Four of Hearts has shown up so many times to kind of rectify a pattern. It's like almost like ending a streak. So we have Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Is you working for your money? You working for yourself and not relying on someone else to interview you and decide if you fit the company and you know hire you to do this job and tell you what to do every single day the job that you're doing is for the lord and your instructions come from come from within your heart turn to christ your eyes turn to christ that's all the help you need 